Today I'm going to be doing something really fun and yummy, and I'm going to be revisiting an old video that I did quite some time ago, and this is my mini birthday cake. So let's get on with the ingredients. One egg, six tablespoons of milk, and I'm using regular milk, six tablespoons of oil, I'm using vegetable oil, you can use canola oil if you wish, four tablespoons of cocoa powder, eight tablespoons of regular white sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, eight tablespoons of flour, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. All right, first thing, we're gonna start off with our egg in the bowl, and then we will get our milk in there. And you can use whole milk or 2%. You wanna go low fat, you could use skim milk. I'm just gonna mix that around a little bit, just like that. And then I'll add in my oil. There we go. All right, I've got my flour. I'll just add in my cocoa powder. and my baking powder. Just mix that around a little bit. There we go. Just get that ready. Okay, we'll just get that well incorporated. Then I'm gonna pour in all of my sugar and just get that nicely combined. So at this point, I really do wanna get this, you know, well mixed. This is gonna be a very, very fast recipe. We are making a very, very small cake here. I'm actually gonna make two cakes, but I'll show you one. I might show you two, but we'll work on one for this recipe. Okay, there we go. That's good. And then I'm just gonna add all of my dry ingredients and we'll just mix that together. All right. And you could use a hand mixer if you wished. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue mixing this and I'll be back in a few, you know, 30 seconds, a minute or so. So I'll just mix this up because you, I don't want to bore you doing this. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've been mixing about 45 seconds or so. So that looks very, very nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go grab my pans and we'll prepare those. Okay, I have my two springform pans here. And... The little bottoms simply come out just like that. Very, very nice. So you can easily take your cake out. Now, what I will do is because there was so much interest in these, I'm just gonna show you how, how large these are or how actually small they are. We'll just measure these. And you're talking about four inches in diameter. And about an inch and three quarters high. And these are made by Wilton. You can pick these up. These are about $5 for both of them. So there we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spray both of these with cooking spray. I'm going to put a little bit of flour in there just to coat them. And then I'll be back in a second. Okay, I thought I would just show you what I am actually doing. So I sprayed both of these with cooking spray. I'm just going to take a little bit of flour in each one, just like that. And then I'm just gonna take it and just go around just like this. And what happens is the cooking spray lets all of the flour stick to the sides and the bottom. Okay, just like that. I'm gonna put a little bit more in here, a little bit more in there. Okay, so just like you saw mom or grandmom doing, you know, way back, you can um, take some butter with a little spatula, uh, not a spatula, a, a silicone brush and go around like that as well. Or you can just take your fingers and rub some butter or margarine inside. Anything, any which way, whatever works for you. Okay, so we're gonna fill these both now. What you wanna do is just grab your whisk or your little hand beater and just, you know, whip this up just a little bit to make sure that everything just, you know, stays well combined. Okay, and then I'm just going to simply fill these. 
So I'm going to try to do half the batter in each one. Alright, that's good, just like that. Okay, now I'm just going to put these on a baking tray, just like that. And I'm going to bake these 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes. So I'm going to pop these in now and I'll come back when they're baked. And here we go. And there are my beautiful little chocolate cakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let these cool for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to remove them from the molds and then later on we will create our little mini chocolate birthday cake. So right now I'm going to let those cool and I'll be back a little while later. Alright, these have been cooling for about 15 minutes or so. They're still warm but I just wanted to show you a little closer up what they look like, nice and close up. So you can see my hand here, how small these actually are. Very, very small. Like I said, they're four inches in diameter. So, you know, basically a very, very large cupcake in a way. So there we go. So, let's just unmold this. So you just open up the little spring form pan and just pops right off. The little, the little latch here comes right off. You just open that, comes right out. And then, just simply very gently try to lift the bottom off and there we go beautiful so we've got one and then we'll get our next one here so you just open the latch that's the beauty of these little molds there we go and you can take a spatula if you wish if you feel that it's sticking a little bit just take a spatula or a you know a thin knife and just get it in there you know where you just can take your thumb and just kind of go around a little bit and then just like that, and there we go. Beautiful. Look at that. Two really, really nice cakes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let these completely cool, and then I'll come back. All right, our cakes have completely cooled right now. What I'll do is I'll just turn this here so you can actually see what I'm doing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut the top of this cake off, just like that. There we go. This here. You could just put some frosting on that and eat that, or you could turn that into little chocolate cake pops. Yum. There we go. All right. So what you could do, this cake is not very thick, so what you could do is just cover this with your icing or your ganache. But what I'll do, just to be a little different, I will cut this right in half as well. And we will first pour ganache on our first layer then we'll, we will cover it and then we'll just cover that off. So I'm going to set up and then we're going to come back and we're going to get this going with our chocolate ganache. Alright, so what I've done here is I've just taken a piece of parchment paper. Got that down first. I have a little drip tray here, just like that. And I've got our nice little chocolate cake here. So we're going to start off with our first layer. Alright my beautiful chocolate ganache and I will link to this recipe at the end of this video so at the end of this video you'll see a little clickable link just in case you want to actually see how this is made I'm just gonna get some on there there we go and I'll just grab my spatula and just get that on there just like that you can put on as you know thick or thin of a layer as you wish and what's great about the parchment is that anything that drips down, it comes right off the parchment very, very easy, easily once you chill it. So there we go, that's good. And then we will take our top layer and just get that on there, just like that. And now we'll get more ganache on the top. We'll get that on there just like that. And then, spatula again, and we'll just get that all over. Now, you can see that this is somewhat thick. You can heat this up in a bain-marie, and what will happen is it will thin out for, you know, quite a bit, and then you can just pour this on. But I did have this chocolate ganache in the fridge, so it is a little bit thicker. I did bring it out of the fridge before doing this video though because it was much thicker than this. It wouldn't it wouldn't spread like this 
when it came directly out of the fridge. And there we go, we'll just ice it up just like that. Mm -mm. I wish you could smell this, it smells really good. So that looks very, very good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop this into the fridge just to chill it down. I'll come back and I'll show you the final product and that will be the end of this very, very quick video. Alright, so I have transferred my little chocolate birthday cake to a plate and I'm just going to go around with some chocolate buttercream and I'm just going to go around and just do just a very quick little shell just to finish off There we go, and then I'm just going to place a nice little rosette right there. And look what I've got. I've got a little candle. We'll get that right down there. And there we go. So I've just dropped my lights a little bit so we could see the candle a little bit better. But there we have it. So this is my mini chocolate birthday cake. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.